Hello everyone. Welcome to Kavation Engineering uh, YouTube channel. All right. So today I took a new lesson regarding ETH Chapter 24, uh, Electrical System, AC Generation. And this is the lesson number two, IDG Calling, IDG Cooling System. So uh, if you still not subscribe to Kavation Engineering YouTube channel, please subscribe and please share these videos with your friends, relatives and anyone who would like to learn about aircraft maintenance. Alright, so uh, now let's go to the lesson. Alright, so today I'm going to talk about like AT Chapter 24 electrical system. So this is uh, under AC generation. So this is the lesson number two. Okay, let's see the IDG cooling system. Yeah, the overview. Uh, today we are diving into how uh, the integrated drive generator stays cool. So we'll break down all its parts and how they work together to keep things running smoothly. So get ready to learn about the important job of keeping our power system in top shape. All right. Okay. So uh, you can see uh, uh, the IDG over there. This is the real picture, right? That is called integrated drive generator. This okay. This is a quick attached dish hat and this is a side glass. Okay, you can see the oil level. All right, so in the contents, I'm going to teach you about the operational principle and the second as a call condition and third, the filter clock and the last one as a temperature and pressure monitoring. All right, <clears throat> so let's go to the first one, operational principle. Okay, you can see the graph. Okay, so this is the full oil system. You can see over there the relief valves over there, scavenge pump, oil sump here is the oil filter. All right, so this is the clogging indicator, and here is the fuel oil heat exchanger, right? Fuel oil heat exchanger over there. Uh, okay, we will talk about uh, later the, the components step by step and what is the purpose. And then uh, here are the oil temperature sensors over there, and this is the cooler bypass valve, and here the de aerator and the charge pump and the charge pressure switch okay then he's go to the generator differential gear hydraulic trim unit and also governor right okay um yeah all right so uh, uh let's break it down right so think of a scavenge pump as your oil personal tray so its job is to push the oil through filters and a heat exchanger it's like how trainer guides you through exercise to keep you healthy and fit. This process ensures the oil stays clean and at the perfect temperature, kind of like maintaining the right balance in your body. So now onto the charge pump, imagine it's as a traffic controller for oil. Its role is to make sure there's a steady flow of oil at just the right pressure to all the different parts that needed it okay so picture it as a regulating traffic on a busy road ensuring everyone's get to their destination smoothly and without any hiccups so in simpler terms the scavenge pump cleans and cools the oil while the charge pump ensures it's delivered where it's needed when it is needed all right okay so next one, uh, what happened in the call conditions? All right. So, okay, the, now the picture, a cold winter morning and your car engine struggle to start. Similar to how thickened oil affects to your car in call conditions, the oil inside the integrated drive generator or as IDG thickens too. So this thick oil creates more pressure, which isn't idle for the IDG operation. To deal with this, the cooler bypass valve steps in. When the pressure rises due to the thickened oil, these values open up, creating a shortcut for the oil to flow through the IDG internal circuit. It's like finding a detour on a, a busy road to avoid traffic. By taking this shortcut, the oil can flow more easily, ensuring the IDG keeps running smoothly even in cold conditions. So in simple terms, when it's cold and the oil thickens, the bypass valve opens to give the oil an easier path through the IDG. Just like finding a shortcut on a congested rod. Alright? Alright. 
and also the as the oil warm up the cooler bypass valve closes right as uh, this is like a summary so as the cool warm up the cooler bypass valve closes and the oil flows through the fuel oil heat exchanger also all right okay so now let's talk about what happens when filter clogged filter clogged right so uh, okay say let's say imagine you're in the car and suddenly uh, okay suddenly uh, a warning light flashes on your dashboard okay signaling a problem similarly in integrated drive generator there's a clever system to alert when the oil filter is clogged okay so it's called the local visual delta pressure pop up indicator okay you can see dpi delta pressure pop up indicator this indicator works like a traffic signal letting you know when there's troubles ahead okay so when the oil filter get clogged it's like a rod block preventing smooth oil flow the dpi sends this increase in pressure caused by the clock and pops up it's like a traffic sign popping up to warn drivers of danger this visual signal is easy to spot even from the distance so operators can quickly take an action think of it as your car warning light but for the idg it's simple yet effective way to ensure that any issue with the oil filter are detected promptly helping to keep the idg running smoothly and avoiding potential damage so in simple terms when dpi pops up it's like a warning light telling you there's a problem when the oil filter that need attention all right here is the uh, clogging indicator so in case of clogging indications the dpi resets can be done in some conditions and associated with maintenance procedures okay when it is filled the clock the relief valves open remember the filter is clogged then the relief valves also open right okay now let's go to the last one temperature and pressure monitoring okay temperature and pressure monitoring all right so imagine uh, you have a friend who can tell when you are feeling too hot or too cold just by touching your skin ah well in the integrated drive generator idg there's a similar friends called oil temperature sensors okay so they keep an eye on how hot or cold the oil is both before and after it does its job it's like having someone checking in your tea is too hot to drink before you take a nap now let's talk about another friend the pressure switch imagine you have a water hose with a valve if the water pressure suddenly drops the valve automatically shut off to prevent the flood similarly the pressure switch in the idg sense if there's not enough pressure in the oil system which could mean there's a problem it then kicks into action is like a superhero to protect the idg from potential damage by shutting things down so in simple terms the oil temperature sensors keep track of how hot or cold the oil is while the pressure switch acts like a guardian stepping in to prevent problems if the oil pressure drops too low together they help keep the idg running smoothly and safely all right okay yeah here is the pressure switch all right okay uh that is the end of this lesson uh thank you for participating in these lessons i think uh, you got some knowledge about the the, the cold conditions how uh idg is working so in the next lesson i'm going to teach you uh, idg monitoring and disconnection reconnections right how disconnect and how reconnect and also uh, the monitoring so stick with kvision engineering youtube channel and this is the only channel you can learn about uh, aircraft maintenance uh, in detail as a, a lesson series. Uh, if you still not subscribe to Aviation Engineering YouTube channel, please subscribe. Please share these videos with your friends who like to learn about aircraft maintenance. And if you wish to become an aircraft maintenance technician or engineer, please watch these videos. These are very helpful for your future. Alright, thank you very much again and see you on next video. Have a good day for all of you.